Welcome to today's presentation where we're going to talk about cardiovascular system. Uh, so cardiovascular system, it is a system that comprises of the heart and its blood vessels. So when you look at the word cardio, we are referring to the heart and the vascular, we are referring to the blood vessels. So this system is one of the most important system in the human body for you to understand the flow of blood and uh, also the blood vessels so in short cardiovascular system it is a transport system okay we can say that cardiovascular system this is the transport system so when you look at the heart the human heart it is actually divided into two we have the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart okay when you look at these uh, parts of the heart we also have chambers okay and these chambers the heart the normal human heart has four chambers the upper two chamber and the lower two chambers okay so now let's start first by drawing the anatomy of the heart and then we'll do the labels when we finish okay so we're going to start first by drawing the, the left side of the heart okay and of course the upper chamber of the heart so let's uh, assume that this is the upper chamber of the left side of the heart. Okay. Then you know that the left side of the heart, initially we're going to have the lower chamber as well. So this is the lower chamber of the left side of the heart. Okay. So this is the lower chamber of the left side of the heart. We, the lower chamber, uh, this chamber, we also have a valve here. Okay. We have a valve or I can say a door. Okay. So these chambers, they initially have doors. Okay. So if we say, if we can assume to say this is a house, uh, this is a house and in that house, this is a, a room. And this is also a room so before you go to this room you are going to of course you are going to have a door okay and here you also need to have a door so this is the left side of the heart okay so this is the left side of the heart This is the left side of the heart. So now, from the left side of the heart, we're going to draw the right side of the heart. Okay? We'll draw the right side of the heart. And then we'll do the labels at last when we finish the diagram. So, of course, you know that... Uh, the right side of the heart, it will also have a chamber, the upper chamber. Okay. As well, this right side of the heart it will also have a chamber the lower chamber okay and it will also have a door okay there is a door here So, okay, so now we are done with the diagram of the heart. Okay, we are done with the diagram of the heart. This is the uh, left side of the heart and this is the right side of the heart. So now when you look at the heart, it has got chambers. Okay, it has got chambers. 
So this is the upper chamber of the left side of the heart. This is the lower chamber of the left side of the heart. This is the upper chamber of the right side of the heart. And this is the lower chamber of the right side of the heart. So now, let's first start by mentioning the names of the chambers. Okay? So what name do we call to this? Uh, we are going to start first with the left side of the heart. So the name that is actually given to the upper chamber of the left side of the heart, it is called as the left atrium. Okay? The left atrium. Okay? This is the left atrium. And this lower chamber, it is what we call as the left ventricle. Okay? This is the left ventricle. The left ventricle. We are done with the chambers of the uh, left side of the heart. Let's go to the right side of the heart. What do we call this upper chamber of the right side of the heart? This is called the left atrium. Okay? The left atrium. What about this lower chamber? This lower chamber, it is what we call as the left ventricle. Okay? The left ventricle. So we are done with labeling with the chambers of the heart. So when you look at the heart, it has got some doors. Okay? These are the doors. Okay? Both the left side of the heart, it has got two doors. One, two. The right side of the heart it has got two doors. One, two. So what are these doors? Okay. These are the valves. Okay. There are the valves or doors. So what are the names of these valves? So we we'll start again with the left side of the heart. This, the name of this valve, it is called as a mitra valve. Okay. Mitra valve or you can call it as uh, left left antroventricular antroventricular valve okay left antroventricular valve okay meaning the artery the antrium plus the ventricle so making the word which we are calling as antroventricular valve okay the combination of the atrium and the the left ventricle, meaning that this is a valve that is uh, demarcating the left atrium as well as the left ventricle. Left antroventricular valve, also known as mitra valve. Okay, then we also have this valve. Have you seen this valve? This valve, it is what we are calling as the aortic valve. Okay, this valve, it is what we are calling as the aortic valve. Let us label it in red color. So that we'll be able to differentiate the two. So this is what we are calling as the aortic valve. Okay. So that is the aortic valve. Okay. So this is the aortic valve. Okay. This one, it is what we are calling as the aortic valve. This one, is it is the mitra valve. Okay. So now let's go to the right side of the heart. Okay. The right side of the heart, we also have two valves, okay? So this valve, it is what we are calling as, have you seen? This is the valve that uh, demarcates the left artery, the, sorry, I, I forgot, this is the right, okay? This is the right, the right atrium as well as the right ventricle, okay? The right atrium and the right ventricle. So this valve, it is the valve that actually demarcates or divides the uh, the right atrium as well as the right ventricle. This is a valve that divides these two chambers. And this valve, we can call it as a tricuspid valve or the right antroventricular valve. We can call it as a tricuspid. Or tricapsid depending on how you are going to call it or we can say right uh, right antro ventricular 
valve okay this valve it is called right antroventricular valve because it's on the right aspect of the heart okay or you can call it as trichipsity valve okay then we also have this valve okay the valves that actually goes out from the cham the lower chamber of the heart this valve it is what we are calling as the pulmonary valve okay pulmonary pulmonary valve so this is the pulmonary valve so when you look at the valves we are done with the labeling of the valves okay but when you look at the left side of the heart we have got these uh, pipes that are actually entering through this that are entering in the left atrium what are these pipes initially the left atrium it has got four pipes okay two from each lung okay so we have four pipes but we have only drawn two pipes so these pipes they are called as the pulmonary uh, pulmonary veins okay so these are called as the pulmonary pulmonary veins okay these are called pulmonary veins now what do we call this this is also a pipe and it's a blood vessel a major vessel okay a major vessel so this is called as the iota this is called as the iota okay now when you look at the iota we have got some blood vessels okay this one as well as this one and this one so this first one we're not we're not going to name them so this one it is called as the brachiocephalic artery this one it is called as the common carotid artery it's called a common carotid artery because it makes two vessels one internal carotid artery and the other one external carotid artery then this one it is called as the subclavian artery okay so this one don't forget it is the iota okay then let's come to the right side of the heart the right side of the heart it also have you seen this pipe this lower pipe as well as this upper pipe so this lower pipe it is what we are calling as the inferior vena cava so we'll use uh, green this one is called as the inferior inferior vena cava okay this is called as the inferior vena cava then this upper pipe it is called as the superior you know superior we are referring to the upper part of superior vena cava superior referring to the uh, above inferior below okay superior above inferior below so this is called inferior vena cava which is me which means below superior up okay so have you seen this the right side of the heart it also has this uh, major uh, vessel so this this one it is going to the left line have you seen this one it is going to the left line and this one it is going to the right line so this one it is called as right pulmonary artery okay right pulmonary artery it is taking blood to the right lung and this one okay this is called as left pulmonary artery okay this left pulmonary artery it is taking blood to the left side of the heart so we are saying that pulmonary we are referring to the lungs and the pulmonary arteries they are the only arteries that carries the deoxygen deoxygenated blood while the pulmonary veins they are the only veins that actually carries the oxygenated blood and when you look at the word artery it means taking away 
the artery is taking blood away from the heart while the vein it is bringing blood towards the heart okay the artery it's taking the blood away from the heart while the vein it is bringing blood towards the heart that is very simple okay so now we are done with labeling of the heart now when you look at the heart it has got some layers okay so the heart has got some layers so it has got what we call as the outermost layer and this outermost layer it is what we are calling as the pericardium okay so this is the outermost layer of the heart the one we are calling as the pericardium okay I've drawn it in red color so this outermost layer we'll label it in black this is called as the pericardium okay this is the pericardium okay pericardium the heart it also has an innermost layer the heart also has the innermost layer and this innermost layer we're going to draw it in green okay the innermost layer it surrounds the chambers of the heart and this innermost layer it is actually smooth okay it is smooth to allow free flow of our blood within the tissues so this innermost layer it is ox it is called as the endocardium endo means inside this innermost layer it also surrounds the valves of the heart as well as the chambers of the heart so as you can see it's in green color and it this one it is smooth to allow free flow of blood within the chambers okay So we are saying that the innermost layer, the one in green, it is the one which we are calling as the endocardium. Okay? Endocardium. Endo, it means inside. Okay? And this endocardium, it is actually divided into two, but we are not going to talk about that. Okay? Just know that this innermost layer it is called as the endocardium and it is divided into two okay so now when we draw the endocardium the heart it also has one of the most important uh, layer or muscle which is the heart muscle the middle the middle layer of the heart we shade it in black and this middle layer of the heart, it is the one that we are actually calling as the myocardium, okay? It is the one we are calling as the myocardium, okay? The one we are calling as the myocardium. So this is the middle layer of the heart. This myocardium, it is very much important. Okay? Very much myocardium. Okay? Also known as the heart muscle. Heart muscle. Okay? this is the middle layer of the heart which is also known as the heart muscle this muscle the myocardium it is very much important for contraction of the ventricles okay and if in any case the myocardium becomes diseased or it's not working someone can have heart failure because this one it is the one that is very much important for contraction of these ventricles and if this myocardium is diseased or it's not working the ventricles they will fail to contract okay so what are we saying a quick recap we are saying that the heart it has got four chambers 
and it's divided into two we have the right side of the heart as well as the left side of the heart this upper chamber of the left side of the heart it is the one which we are calling as the left atrium and the lower chamber it is the left ventricle okay and the right side of the heart it also has got some chambers okay we have the upper chamber which we are calling as the right atrium and the lower chamber which we are calling as the right ventricle okay then the heart also has got some valves or doors okay so the right side of the heart we have got with this valve this valve which we are calling as tricapsid valve or right antroventricular valve and this one it is called as pulmonary valve okay the left side it also has got some valves these valves there are two valves this valve that is actually bringing the blood in this ventricle it's called as mitral valve or right antroventricular valve this valve it is what we are calling as the aortic valve okay we also has we also have some uh, vessels okay these are called as the pulmonary veins they are the ones that brings blood to the left side of the heart in the left atrium the heart also has got this one which we are calling as the aorta and we have got these vessels on the aorta this one is a brachiocephalic common carotid artery subclavian artery and on the right side of the heart we have this one which we are calling this vessel it is taking blood to the left side of the lung for oxygenation and this one it is what we are calling as the left pulmonary artery and this one it is what we are calling as the right pulmonary artery it's taking blood to the right side of the lung so when you look at the right atrium it has got two pipes the upper pipe and the lower pipe the upper pipe it is called as the superior vena cava and the lower uh, the lower pipe that is actually bringing blood is called the inferior vena cava the chambers of the heart you know that the innermost chamber it is called as the endocardium which is here and the middle layer which is the heart muscle it is called as the myocardium and the outermost layer which is which protect which or which gives physical protection to the heart it is known as the pericardium not forgetting that the heart it also has got what we call as a septum so here it's what we call as a septum okay we have a septum there okay this septum it's uh, dividing the ventricles okay from the right and the left ventricle okay this is called a septum so now this is about the cross section of the heart in the next presentation we're going to talk about the blood flow uh, within the heart and the types of circulation that we have thank you for watching and please if you haven't subscribed make, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever i post my new videos asanta Mwane. thank you very much